You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Friends, family, we've gathered together in the sight of God on this beautiful day and also in the presence of these witnesses to join together this man, Zachary Kevin Hawkins, and this woman, Landon Camille Kopchinski, in holy matrimony. Landon, where do I start? Our journey to this point hasn't been conventional, but I wouldn't change it for the world. We built a love that will last a lifetime, bought a home that we can call our own, and now today in the eyes of the Lord, in front of our family and friends, we get to declare our lifelong love for one another. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. Zach, from the day I met you, I knew you'd be the man I'd marry. The one I'd fall for, marry, start a family, and grow old with. I promise to always love you, no matter what this life throws at us. Today is about our love for each other and the beginning of a long, happy life together. Of all of the gifts that we have been giving, the one that is most precious to us is the gift of love. As soon as I met you, I knew God put you in my life for a reason. You are truly a blessing. Simply put, you are perfect and more than anything I could have ever asked for and been blessed with. I love you to the moon and back a million times and can't wait to see you at the altar in just a short amount of time. So Zach Hawkins, will you have Landon Kopchinski to be your wedded wife? Will you love her? comfort her, honor and keep her, as long as you both shall live. If so, I will. I will. Landon Kopchinski, will you have Zach Hawkins to be your wedded husband, to live together in holy marriage, as long as you both shall live. If so, I will. I will. I can't believe, um, but to think, um, Landon's brother Hobie is up in heaven today saying, I've grown up in pretty Landon is. I definitely think he would have liked Zach. Because I think Landon was attracted to and feels in love with Zach. Because he's so much like Hobie. He's kind, he's compassionate, he's polite, he's well dressed. We're fortunate that Landon chose Zach and his family. This is creating a new family, this marriage, and they need not only the support of their parents, not only the support of their siblings, but they need the support of everyone who is here today. So I ask all of you, will all of you who are assembled by God's grace do everything in your power to uphold and care for both Landon and for Zachary Kevin in this marriage. And if so, I want to hear we will. We will. Barry hit on the fact that family is a big deal. And I agree with that because everybody that's in here is part of our family. Landon, I'm glad to have you and your family as part of our family now. I love you. You're a beautiful girl. The day Zachary brought you home, I knew that was it. It was over. I, Zachary, take you, Landon, 
to be my wedded wife. I, Landon, take you, Zachary, to be my wedded husband. I promise to inspire you, laugh with you, and grow with you side by side. I promise to be true to you, to uplift and support you, frustrate <laughs> and challenge you, and to share with you the beautiful moments in life. I've always dreamed of having a little sister. Lannon came into my life and filled that void. So many times you hear a parent say, when your daughter gets married, she's all yours. But Zach, that's not the way it is. It doesn't totally work that way. She's on loan to you. Landon. Landon. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. Zachary. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. O oh God, you have consecrated the covenant of Christian marriage, that in it represents the covenant between Christ and his church. Send therefore your blessing upon Landon and Zach. Bless them in their work and in their companionship, in their sleeping and in their waking, in their joys and in their sorrows, in their lives and in their deaths. This we pray. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For as much as Landon and Zachary have consented together and have witnessed the same before God and this company and have also pledged their faith each to the other and have declared the same by joining hands and by giving and receiving rings, I pronounce your husband and wife, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You may kiss your bride. just want you to know the biggest thing, you and your mother, we love you very much. 99% of what Zachary has good in him came from that lady right over there. But he does have my 1%. Zach is most definitely Landon's Prince Charming. He seems to give her all she needs, a strong arm, a sympathetic ear, and a credit card. <laughs> I want to end by telling you both to always be kind to each other, tender-hearted, forgive one another, just as God, through Christ, would forgive you. And Zachary, just remember, she's always right. <laughs> Darling, you're the one I love Even if
You are the man I have dreamed of my whole life, and I could not imagine walking down that aisle to anyone else. I love you, Landon, and I take pride in knowing I can call you my wife for the rest of my life.